Hey everyone, Tony George, Doc Sports. It is a Thursday update, and that means Amazon Prime NFL football. Al Michaels and Kirk Herbstreit bringing it to you as the Vikings take on the Rams tonight on the road. So we're going to get to that free play. Uh, six free plays waiting for you on Doc's Gridiron Six Pack Show with myself and Griffin Murphy right here on this YouTube channel. Tune in. Four and two last week on the show. Um, we had a stream last week's show. Uh, was on my Twitter and Facebook. At T George Sports is my Twitter. Follow me. I'll give you some free picks over the weekend on Twitter exclusively. Go follow me. It's worth it. Now, we'll tell you what's going on over at the website. Thursday's a big day because we put up all of our selections for the entire week through Monday. All cappers do in uh, NFL and college football. So we'll tell you about what's going on there as we're still working on those cards. But let's talk about this game tonight. Now, this line is minus three across the board sitting on a fall number, a crappy number. Except at one book. Now, most of you guys watching these videos don't all live in Vegas. So you either got FanDuel or DraftKings. And if you were in states where that's legal... Um, maybe get the Caesars or the MGM, maybe have Bet River, some of these others. FanDuel and DraftKings, you want at least two outlets. And DraftKings has this currently juiced up to minus 115 at minus two and a half. On uh, Minnesota beat a favorite, total is 48, which is about right. That's sharp. Um, so we'll talk about this game. I'm going to lean Minnesota in this game. Now, this is not worthy of a premium play side or total for me. There's a couple props we got in this game. We'll tell you about that in a minute, but and I'll give you a prop, too, on this video. But there's other people that feel differently about this game. Somebody could have a top pick on this for all I know. Or I don't know what other guys are doing at docks. I, we, none of us know. We all do our own thing. Yeah, which is I bounce a few things off. Handicappers there that I know and respect from time to time. I'll call up, you know, Griff Murphy or Vernon Croy or, you know, somebody and say, hey, um, talk me out of this. What, what am I not seeing? You know, looking for a different perspective, which I respect. But for the most part, uh, I don't know what anybody's doing. So you can look at all the saber metrics and analytics and trends for Thursday night, road teams, home teams, but home teams haven't done that well on Thursdays this year recently, but sometimes it's the eye test. I've been doing this 33 years. That still comes into play. And the Rams just aren't a good football team. Now I thought they were a good football team last year. I said it all year long, and what they end up doing, they end up making it in the playoffs. I don't think they're that good of a team. I know they're getting um, both their wide receivers back tonight. Now, it's good because they throw about 70% of the time. If they have good running back, and they don't run them. Maybe they don't run block well, in my opinion. But what have they done? Their, their claim to fame this year is beating the 49ers in a last-second field goal or whatever, field goal game. Honestly, the 49ers aren't that good. You just saw the 49ers play an elite team on Sunday that also was injury depleted and spanked them. San Francisco has got three wins this year, and two of them are against the Jets and the Patriots. Okay. That's your signature win? Minnesota's went through the gauntlet of really good teams and beat a lot of them, including the 49ers handily. I mean, just, just embarrassed them. They beat some really good playoff teams. They just lost a game on Sunday to the best team in the NFC. Last second. It's not like they threw, not like they got their out behind the woodshed butt kicking. Minnesota's a better team. The only difference here, which is what gives me pause, which is why I didn't put a premium on this, because I put a premium on who's the better quarterback. Matt Stafford's a better quarterback. And Darnold's been regressing a little bit. But to offset that, 
L.A. can't stop anybody running the football. Aaron Jones is going to have a good night tonight. Minnesota run the football. When they run the football successfully, uh, their defensive secondary also gives up huge chunk plays. And guess who you got running around back there? Justin Jefferson. Anytime TD plus 105. There's a prop. Yeah. But at day's end, Minnesota's better football team overall across the board. How good is Nakua going to be after coming off an injury for, what, five, six weeks? Cup, same thing. How sharp are they going to be? I don't care how many targets they got. Are they going to be sharp right out of the gate? They're not an eight-game midseason form. I know that this is square play. A lot of people are back in Minnesota, and a lot of sharps are back in the Rams. I can't back the team that's not the best team in the game. Maybe the narrative should be Minnesota comes in here and takes it out on the Rams after losing the game again against the best team in the NFL, one of the best teams in the NFC, if not the best team in the NFC. I mean, the Rams had trouble putting the Raiders away, and the Raiders suck. Raiders used two quarterbacks in that game. They were in it the whole time. Yeah, I'm taking Minnesota. We're not putting Grandma's Farm on this. a free play. Half unit max. But I'd lean Minnesota in this game tonight. Over at the website, we got a two-pack and props on this game. We had an NHL play for you as well tonight. And all of our football will be out today. We have a big seven-unit play in college football on Saturday. We may I'm looking at that pitt Syracuse scheme tonight as well. Possibly one on Friday, but we're definitely going to have a three-pack on Saturday with a big top play. It would have been my game of the year, but I lost an eight-unit play last week in the NFL. We took a step back last week in the NFL, both with NFL and NFL props. I tell it like it is. We've been rolling along, having some great cards. We'd hit four top picks in a row. We lost one. And we just didn't have a good week in the NFL. We'll bounce back. Going to have a top play on Sunday. Um, as I mentioned on the Great Iron Six-Pack Show, this is a great weekend for teasers in the NFL. There's a lot of teams that have a high probability of winning with some big numbers on them that you can tease down. And there's some that are a little undervalued that you can tease up and get through major uh, key fall numbers. You know, so we may have a couple of teasers on the card too. Still working on it. And we're taking a look at the Monday night game. Doc Sports, free 60 bucks. Link in the description below. Just expand it or go to the website. We'll park 60 bucks in any new account. Comes with a profit guarantee. And zero strings and hassles. Be back again on Friday with some free plays for the weekend.